With its perfect weather year-round, Hawaii is to enjoy consistent visitors throughout the year. On average, 30,000 people arrived on the island every day in 2019. But during the coronavirus pandemic lockdowns in the spring of last year, that number fell below 500, giving a chance to native Hawaiians to see for the first time what the island looked like without tourists. There was a lot of things that people liked. It was much less crowded. Uh, the waters in the uh, nearby oceans and bays became less polluted. We noticed more fish returning. Uh, the, our hiking trails were less crowded uh, and traffic was way down. Of course, this was because our leading industry, tourism, um, had, had fallen on hard times. Locals saw the true beauty of their island without crowds of visitors, but the trade-off was a record high unemployment rate of nearly 22 percent in the spring of 2020. Hawaii felt the economic pressure to open up sooner than later, a move that pleased some in the service industry but upset others. In my experience, the government has rarely, barely ever put the health and wellness of the people, the residents, and the native people of our place before tourism, before the economic gain of tourism. And so I'm not surprised that even amidst this global pandemic, that has been the afterthought. Growing consistently over the decades, tourism has become an $18 billion industry in Hawaii, nearly 20% of its entire GDP. But the coronavirus pandemic is now forcing the island state to rethink its approach to what has become an indispensable part of its economy. Over the last 30 years, Hawaii actually has been diversifying away from tourism. Uh, the percentage of our total economy that, that stems from tourism has been gradually falling. But things like the pandemic, when all of a sudden we face a crisis, we do see how dependent we still are on tourism. And there have been calls to diversify the economy. The coronavirus pandemic showed how much Hawaii depends on tourism. Many locals were forced to seek alternative means of income, and some are wondering if they can avoid going back to the days of tourism overload. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.